What a beauty! The first ThinkPad ever! Well, that was back in 1992, and now, exactly 30 years later, we have the new ThinkPad Z13 in our laboratory. So, what do 30 years of experience look like? There are a lot of cool features in Z13, but one of them makes it one of the best laptops in the world. Watch until the end of the review, and you will find out. Durability-wise, ThinkPads have always been tough, and we are happy with the rigidity of the Z13 II, especially with such a level of portability, weighing 1.19 kg and having a profile of 14 mm. The design is radically different, with a silver exterior, sharp edges, rounded corners and glossy sides, both on the lid and the base. The lid and base surface by themselves are matte. The keyboard spans edge to edge, utilizing the full width of the chassis. Plus, they have a fair bit of space between them. The key travel is short due to the thin profile, but the feedback is very clicky. In the middle of the unit, just like its great grandpa, it had the classic red track point. This time, its buttons are hidden below the top portion of the touchpad, with the haptic motor inside. It also mimics a click across the whole pad. The pad is covered in glass and is quite large for the size of the laptop. The I.O. is very simple, with two USB 4 ports, an audio jack and a SIM card tray. The Full HD Plus IPS resolution is totally enough for a 13.3-inch display. It is great for general use thanks to its wide viewing angles and 424 nits max brightness. It's good even for creative work as the panel offers 95% sRGB coverage and great accuracy with our design and gaming profile. You can find the link to our display profiles in the description below the video. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! In addition to the qualities of the display, creators will be happy with the Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U, which offers flagship performance from a ULV CPU. Plus, the CPU runs at a much higher wattage than its advertised 15 watts TDP. On the graphics end, the new RDNA 2 based Radeon 680M has decent performance gains when compared to the latest Intel integrated graphics. Trying to keep the Ryzen 7 in check is only a single heat pipe, one long heat sink and two fans that are punched up together. Here we see that the Z13 isn't suitable for video editing since the cooling can't maintain high clock speed for long periods of 100% load, but it's great for photo editing or other types of work where short bursts of power are needed. The two fans spin really fast, leading to some noise. The warmest point is the 45 degrees Celsius, which is ok. Since this is a small notebook, we have soldered LPDDR5 RAM, which at least runs in quad-channel mode and reaches high speeds of 6400 MHz. For storage, there is one M.2 PCIe X4 slot that fits Gen 4 drives. Click the teardown link in the upper right corner in the video if you want to know how to access it. As we promised, we saved the best for last. Imagine that you are flying from New York to Austria and you need to work on the go. Well, with ThinkPad Z13 you'd be able to work through the whole flight, even if you have accidentally bought a ticket to Australia. The 51.5 Wh battery pack lasts for 22 hours and 37 minutes of web browsing, or 15 hours and 50 minutes of video playback on a single charge. Z13 is a super stylish air of the legendary ThinkPads and shows how far the technology has come in the last 30 years. Yes, we'd love to have some more ports and better upgradability, but apart from that, the model is one of the best compact devices on the market, with great display, extremely long battery life and ThinkPad class durability. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below. If you think that our reviews are helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!